What's up? What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Hype Talk. Like always, we got Tan Tang, aka Pretty Rico. What's up, y'all? We got Big Boy Johnny. Whoop. We got Sky Pilot the dog. <laughs> and today we're gonna be doing a follow-up video to the first video we did on the hot brands coming up. We're just gonna be going a little bit more in depth on this one, and we got a longer list. Y'all ready? Let's, Let's go. go. All right, guys. I mean, just starting off where we left off, Adidas. Richie, why are they popping again? I like Adidas because I feel like they're really just like kind of listening to the people, you know? A lot of people, they saw marking their uh, Ultra Boost with the all black around the white part. Oh, okay. But now they actually released a version where it's actually black. There's a rumor right now yeah. that in 2016, they're gonna triple Three the amount of inventory read that too. for the Yeezy 350s. I like that. Collab with Bape. I feel like that's mm. a huge uh, way to market even the older they recently, models. Yeah, they recently they, uh, superstars. Right yeah, they did superstars uh, collab. I kind of like how they did that, like off white. Uh, they yeah. didn't just make them pure white. They made them like an off white, like okay. vintage yeah. look. I gotta and see those. I haven't seen those yet. Not just that. They have hot, hot artists. Yeah. Not just athletes. They, they have, have Big you know, Sean. Big Sean. Tiana Taylor. Oh, Tiana Taylor. Uh, Pusha T. Uh, Pusha T. There's, oh, a, lot they, of, yeah. there's a lot of. There's a lot of big they rap all names. The, in, all the good music. Because of Kanye. Kanye was like, y'all gonna sign. Oh, that's them, true. Them, I didn't them. even think of that. Yeah. This is how it's gonna go down. <laughs> hey, you ain't got the answers. You, you ain't got you, the if, answers. If, 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 you you ain't got the answers, Sway. You know when Rick Ross was with Reebok? Yeah. I feel like he wasn't even trying to rep those. You know what I mean? One concept that I saw was kind of cool was Kendrick's concept for the ventilators. Oh, and it yeah, was yeah. just like the red and the blue. And you know, it comes back to the LA thing and the gang thing. But you know, Tan, like what other brands do you notice that's been kind of hot and on popping again? You know, I feel like with Adidas having a bunch of those collabs, collabs is the main thing that mm. I feel like brings the brand to another level. With that being said, I feel like the ASIC line, uh, ASICs are you know, huge coming like, back. You like, know, I feel like Ronnie Fry helped pretty much bring ASIC back to that level. Not just known for running shoes. Yeah, they're doing it with a Bodega. Uh, clot. Uh, they're doing it with. Uh, they're doing Atmos. 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 Oh, Atmos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just feel like they're collabing with these uh, companies that collab with Nike. Since we're talking about Ronnie Fag, though, what are your thoughts on Kith? A lot of people like that brand as an upcoming brand. Kith and Y. They got clothing, they got collabs, they got, They're also doing collab with shoes too. When I went to New York, I recently got to visit Kith with Richie, and um, I have to tell you, the details is immaculate. The way that they pay attention mm. to it and they execute, I'm not surprised that the bigger name brands are starting to reach out to guys like Kith, but I'm hoping to see more brands start to execute. I feel way. like I feel like Kith aesthetically, they kind of brought back simplicity. Yes. Like they're not doing over the top designs and not, but a lot of people gravitate still towards No, I just bought a box logo when I just when I went to Kit. Yeah. Just a box logo because it's simple, it's clean, you know the brand. One thing I noticed recently is um the brand uh Sacconi or Sacconi or how you say so it? I don't so even know how to pronounce it. Sacconi. Oh, so um, They've collaborated with uh some YouTubers oh. to try to uh do some collaborations when it comes to the designs of the new shoes. What are you guys' thoughts? Yeah, I feel like Sacconi reaching out to those YouTubers. Uh, it was a great direction. I, maybe they couldn't get those expensive uh, nah. endorsements. <laughs> I, I, man, uh, I, I'm gonna cut you off. I'm gonna cut but... you off. Like that's just crazy to me. Like. Yeah, YouTube, and this is no offense, Richie. They didn't even hit me up, that's cool. If you're trying to make your name hot again, you can't just contact people, I feel like on YouTube, you have to contact people on a larger scale. I could be wrong, but I don't know when the last time Sacconis were hot. The last time I wore them was when I was like- Trying to do windmills, right? Yeah, a long time ago when I was breakdancing or trying to do something like that, you know, so- He's trying to do head spins back in the day. It didn't work out, I got it. I feel like done spun his hair out out of his mouth. You gonna do that? You gonna do that boy? Big dudes out there. Johnny, we need you to talk about the boot line. We like talking about the boots, baby. <laughs> you talking about a lot of athletic wear, right? And I'm have to say, I've noticed that boots have become heavier and heavier again in the game. And you like and that. No yeah. pun intended, because your boy's a little heavy too. <laughs> Yo, he don't mess with boost, he mess with Look just boost. <laughs> One of those boost kernels might just fly out when he rocks with them. Timberlands, let's talk about Timberlands, right? We were talking about boots in general, and this is a specific boot, a specific name that we've all known for a very long time. Drake's been wearing no, a lot of Timberlands That's a good point, lately. because uh, I'm not gonna lie, the reason why I wore you know, Tim's. I just seen a lot of slim guys start doing like Tyga, Big uh, Sean. Like it, you wasn't, got the, you it got, wasn't the slim option for me. I was. The, uh, I had to. You wear. got the less rugged ones. You got the all black ones. I Those did, are I more did, like the sleek. Yeah. I see people rocking um, Doc yeah. Martens again. I yeah. see people rocking what? Red Wings. Okay. Yo, I wonder how the construction workers feel when they see like a kid <laughs> walking down the street with the freshest pair of like Timberlands or Doc uh, Martens or something like that. It, well, they're, they're probably thinking just like an athlete seeing you wearing your shoes now. If you guys want to know what to wear with Red Wings though. I definitely recommend some really rugged chinos. Yes. 
or some dark selvage denim. Those, those two pants right there. I mean, you could really get any pair of boots and layer up. Like yeah. if you have a flannel, any flannel will go with a nice pair of clean dark brown boots. Boots. As a big dude, do you like just a straight boot, or do you like the Nike how they're doing the sneaker boot line where it's innovative technology with the boot? I think it's each one teach one, but I like the what? Nikes. <laughs> Isn't cut. it uh, to each his own? All right, I don't know. I just like to eat own. Oh, I, <laughs> I eat on my he own. He like chicharrones, okay? <laughs> what do you guys think about um? Puma. You know, Meek Mill try to kind of bring back Puma uh, a little Meek bit. Rock Mill. fresh a little bit. Meek Mill not really known for fashion either, so. I see I a mean, lot of break dancers wear Pumas. And, and they have that the collab class. with uh, Bape recently too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Think about it now, Rihanna is actually one of their front face mm. um, right now and celebrities yeah. at this No one copping some Air Rihannas, yeah. all right? <laughs> some high-end brands that a lot of people are kind of uh, paying attention to. We got Common Projects. Yeah. Uh, we got Balenciagas, we got Visvums. Don't get this twisted, kids. Athletes are getting these shoes for free, probably. <laughs> they ain't got paid for it. Y'all yeah. gonna have to drop about a G for these shoes. I don't know, man. Maybe because Scott can't really afford the common projects, but yeah. I can see why Rick Owens, though, would be. There's a, that's an actual, like, design. All right, guys, thank you for checking out that follow up video to the first video we did. Uh, we just want to talk about some hot brands coming up. Let us know down in the comments below if you guys have any brands in mind that you think are really making some noise right now. And that's pretty much it. Until next time, we out. Peace. Hey, what's up, guys? Thank you so much for checking out that episode of Hype Talk. Make sure you check out the video to my right. Check out the video to my left. Make sure you leave all your comments below what you want to see, any ideas that you have for us. Until next time, we out. Peace.